Hello friends, welcome back to SQL with Manoj. In our previous video, we saw how to convert a SQL table data to a JSON string, or you can simply say a data written by a SQL query uh, in row and column format to a JSON string. In this video, we will try to do just reverse of it. So we will try to convert the JSON string back to a tabular format or in row and column. So we'll try to see how we can parse the JSON uh, document or the string. So to parse the JSON document or read the JSON document in row and columns, SQL Server provides these two functions. One is the open JSON and another one is JSON value. Okay. So we will try to see how we can use these two functions. So first of all, uh, I'll take the same example in from my previous video where we used person dot person table. Uh, let me first of all create a JSON document again by using the previous uh, example. So select top three star from person dot person. Now I'll replace it with some columns business entity ID then first name then last name. Okay, I'll just take these three columns for now. Okay, and uh, it gives us this uh, one. So let us convert it to a JSON format. So for JSON path, okay, then root and yeah, I'll just give person. So so this is the document it has returned. Uh, let's convert it to a proper format. So this is it. So under a parent person, we have these three data sets. I'll copy them back to here and paste them in my query window. Okay, so here is the JSON document. Okay, I will put it in single quotes and assign it to a variable. So first of all, I'll declare a variable. Declare at the rate JSON. I'll just give thousand, then select at the rate JSON is equal to yeah. Okay, so this is our JSON. So let us see how it looks like here. Select at the rate JSON. Yeah. So so this is our JSON document. Okay, uh, and stored in a variable. Okay, now what we'll do is uh, we'll just try to query it by using the uh, open JSON function. Okay, so for that, uh, I'll start with the select query. Select query and uh, the columns. So the column is business entity ID, comma, first name, comma, last name. From. Okay, now here we will provide the JSON document inside the open JSON function. Open JSON function and uh, the variable and the root of our JSON and the syntax is dollar dot person. Okay, now this alone is not going to work, right? Uh, let, let us try executing it. Okay, so here it is. So it says that it, it does not know that, okay, what are these columns? So we'll have to use a with clause and we'll have to provide the columns list with their data type. So I'll copy these. Okay, uh, and uh, I'll separate out. So business entity ID, it is a integer. This one is, this one can be a var cat first, first name, so 500. Then this, this is also a var cat 500. Okay, and just give it a, give it some, so some alias like person, yeah. Okay, now, uh, now our query is complete, so select all these columns that we want to fetch then open json the json variable and the root of the json document uh, prefixed with dollar and dot 
okay then with clause under with clause we have defined these columns so till now here the columns were not defined so we have defined these columns with the proper data type and have given an alias okay so let's try executing this query so i have selected this query and i will execute it okay see so so we have got you know our data back into a tabular fashion so rows and columns okay now there is one more way we can achieve the same result by using both json op, open json and json value so so without without using this with clause we can achieve the same okay let me let me copy this and probably i'll you know comment the code and uh, we'll see here um i'll place all these columns into separate lines because we are going to use uh the json value for function so here we'll use the json value function and so we'll have to give an alias here so i'll give a alias as p so json value p dot value comma and just like we gave here dollar dot person so here also we will just give dollar dot business id uh, single quotes and bracket yeah similarly we'll have to give the same with rest of them okay json value p dot value p is nothing but p is this the either the alias okay yeah and uh, at the end we'll give some name so this is id as f name as L name okay so so this is it what we have done is we have you know we are what we are doing is we are using open json function passing the json variable which is uh, which is containing the whole json document uh, using the same root element and uh, rather than you know defining these columns over here what we are doing is we are using json value function and uh, you know uh, pointing to pointing to this this document and using the dot p value okay and uh, with the elements that we want to fetch okay so let's try to execute this query so let's see yeah so we have achieved the same result and uh, even if you know you can try running all these both of these queries together okay and these both will fetch us the same result yeah so if you can see business entity id first name last name and here the alias are different because we have provided the alias like this right and uh, this is the way you can parse a simple uh, json and uh, get the results in a tabular format okay uh in our next videos we'll see some more complex scenarios where the json is not so simple like this the json can be a nested json or uh and the json can be a nested json with multiple array elements into it so please stay tuned for the next videos thank you very much for watching this video please let me know your thoughts and please uh, like and subscribe thank you very much